Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. So this video is long overdue, you guys have been requesting it and I promised I would make it and that was a while ago and I apologize about that. I was waiting for some jewelry that I had ordered to come in the mail and then I was just kind of in like a weird funk, um, which I talked about in my <laughs> latest update video, which was a few weeks ago. Um, anyway. I am finally getting around to filming this video, and that is my jewelry collection 2016. And I am just gonna try to go through really quick. Um, I'm not gonna show you guys each and every bit, you know, in detail. Um, if you guys want to see like a particular, you know, um, jewelry collection video, for instance, like a tongue, you know, jewelry collection video, tongue piercing jewelry collection video, I mean, let me know, and I will definitely do that. Um, I will say I'm going to just really skim over my whole like naval jewelry collection because I have a, like, a separate video entirely on that um, so you can check that out and that should be in the description box in my piercing playlist um, which that you know it's all like always linked in the description box along with my social media if you follow me on anything. Alright so before I show you guys where I keep my jewelry and how I store it I'll show you the jewelry that I am wearing um, and let me just say a lot of this, like all my jewelry is either from Amazon, um, Karma 7, piercings for everybody, or I just don't remember. But yeah. Alright, so I just have a hoop in my nose right now. Um, it's technically a captive bead ring, but without the bead. I just, whatever, I don't have a bead in there. Um, and then, which is my standard diamonds that I always have in. I always get asked, you know, um, where they're from and how long the bars are. You all know Stormtrooper. Okay, she doesn't want to give her mother a kiss. Okay, right, so I always get asked, you know, how long my bars are that I have for my um, dimple piercings and where I get my jewelry and everything like that. And I've said it a lot, um, but whatever. I... The bars that I have in are the bars that I was pierced with, um, or you know I had put in after my piercer pierced or whatever. And then the diamonds are from Industrial Strength. I bought them at the shop that I was pierced at. It's two of these. These were twenty-five dollars each, so fifty dollars. Um, whatever. So all right, let's move on to the ears. Wait, actually, no, my tongue. I just have a pill. All right, so my rook is. Just, um, just a plain curved barbell, and that one I got off of Amazon. It was not the one I was pierced with. I was pierced with a captive bead ring. And then next is my conch, the top, that little stone. Hopefully you guys can see it. That one is industrial strength or, um, oh, anatomical or whatever that one's called. Um, and I bought it at the shop. I did get pierced that. And then I just have a long... The Brett Poston, which I got from Amazon, and then my Tragus piercing, I got that jewelry from, um, I believe it's Karma 7, and then this is actually a like, septum ring, which I'm just wearing my earlobe. Karma 7, this one, this little heart, um, I got from Claire's, and it's just, I got it for my um, Tragus, but it is like too bulky for that area, so... Yeah, and it's just a uh, la, just like a labret, but it doesn't have the flat back. It just has like a screw on the ball. All right, and then my next ear, which is like naked in comparison to this one, because this one is like my lucky ear. This one almost never wants to take piercing, but whatever. Um, so if I can get my hair out of the way. All right, so I just have the um, same little uh, septum ring in this one that I have in that one over here and then in this one I have the same um, stone that's in my conch um, and then this one is just on a uh, straight um, bar. Then my nipples I just have plain um, straight barbells in nothing fancy just plain. Alright and then real quick I want to show you guys the jewelry that I keep with me all the time when I leave the house because you have body piercings like I do, and you definitely need to have backup ones. Even if you only have like your navel pierced, 
you need to have backup jewelry because you just never know. It could, something could happen, the balls could come unscrewed and you could lose the jewelry and you don't want to close your piercing. I just, this is my wallet, it's just a little coach wallet that my lovely sister got me for Christmas one year. And I just, like I said, I always keep jewelry in there. So I like to just have kind of a decent amount of jewelry in there because you just never know. So I'm going to just try to go through this pretty quick. Alright, so in this one, this little baggie, I have a bunch of um, little balls there that are externally um, screwed. And then this little bar right there, this straight barbell, um, that one is it's internally um, threaded and I can't rem I want to say I got that one off of Amazon. And it's just like a backup one either for like my cheeks or like my conch or something, you know. Or I guess my nipples if I wanted it. So yeah. So those balls just go with it. And I always like to have extra balls too because you never know. Alright, so I like to also... Because I keep them in individual baggies, but then I like to have them in an extra baggie because like, you know, these can break and everything like that or rip, whatever. So it's just nice. Um, years of experience here. Alright, so I just have a bunch here and I'm not going to like pull these out um, just because I don't want to like drop them because I drop a lot of my body joy and I have to like vacuum crazy to try to find it because like with the carpeting in my house, you drop like a small piece of body drawer and it's like almost lost forever. Um, but yeah, so I just have a straight, I have two straight metal plane um, barbells. I want to say that those are externally threaded. I don't think that they're internally. Just unscrew it to see. Yeah, I think that these are, okay, so the two metal ones are externally. Then I just have a, I have two tongue rings, um, that green plastic one and then the metal pink and black one. I have a pink nose hoop there. That was like my first, first nose hoop I ever got. Um, anyway, and then I have just some plain like nose studs and that. And they're missing stones and everything like that. So it's, you know, whatever. Um, then I just have like a captive bead ring and like a navel barbell and small labret hose. And those are the ones I always keep with me. Um, I don't, I don't have my navel pierced anymore, as a lot of you know, but if I'm around somebody who has theirs and they need jewelry, I got you covered. So this is just where I keep all of my jewelry. I'll just give you guys like a quick overview of it. Um, I'm not going to open the sides here just because that's where I keep my necklaces and the like one like spill out and everything and it's a pain in the ass. So just open it here and I just keep my rings, nothing fancy. I like I like this ring a lot. Um, I think my stepmom gave it to me. It just opened like that so... If I ever want to like have a coke addiction, that's the ring I'll be wearing. <laughs> I'm kidding. Anyway, um, yeah, and then I just have a little bracelet, just a random glove. Um, this is a um, bracelet I never wear that my grandma, rest in peace, made. It's along with some um, earrings and stuff of hers. Yeah. Oh, let me show you guys this ring though real quick. Get out of here. Look, it's a peacock ring. I never wear it because the little feather gets all messed up. It's really cute. <laughs> I really like it, but I just obviously like never wear it. So, all right, all right, and then I'll show you guys these drawers here. All right, so I'll just start in the back here. Now, I like to, as you guys can see, I like to like organize my jewelry in these little boxes. These little boxes are from Karma Seven. It's like when you order um, jewelry from, like they come in that, or they'll come in like this and like in that or something. Anyway, so back here. Just some of my ear cuffs and everything like that. Um, I really like these. These are also from Karma 7. And, like, no, like, I'm not, like, sponsored by them or anything. They have, like, worked with me in the past and, like, sent me stuff. But it's not sponsored by them. Um, that's just, like, another ear cuff. And put that back so I don't make a mess. All right, and then here I just have... Uh, what are those called again? I always forget what they're called. But just, uh some random stuff. <laughs> I don't know. Alright, and then in here I just have um, some captive bead rings. Nothing fancy. Alright, and then in this one here, um, I think these are from Karma 7 as well. 
And I absolutely love, love, love these. These are nipple jewelry. And I know they're all dangly and just absolutely beautiful. Like, look at that stone. Like, that's, that's gorgeous, but it sucks like when you wear, like, a sports bra or any kind of rocks. Like, the jewelry, like, the jewelry gets, like, pressed into your nipple and it's just painful. Alright, and then I don't really have, like, a lot because I, t lately I've just been, like, kind of in just enjoying wearing, um, plain barbells. But, yeah, these are... I think these are these are actually um, for your septums, but I ordered them uh, longer so I could wear them in my nipple uh, jewelry or in my nipple piercing. I mean, but yeah, so they're cute. Karma Seven as well, and then these are piercings for everybody. And I've yet to wear any of these because they only sent me one flower one, and then I just haven't got around to wearing those other ones. All right, moving right along. Um, in this little container, I just have. Like, no screws and shit like that that I don't want to wear because I do rip them out. <laughs> and then these are just, like, my tongue rings. And um, these are, like, metal tongue rings that I just kind of like to keep separate. And then this is a, like, a short plastic one that I um, cut down to fit my tongue better, better. So I don't have, like, a ridiculously long tongue bar like the one I'm wearing now. That kind of makes me talk funny. Um, and then these are just navel joy that I've already showed you guys. And then, all right, what's this one? And that's just a, okay, this just has a ball in it, and I just kept it in this bag, so I knew what jewelry this is for. Um, not really important. And then this is just a, oh, this is um, for my rogue piercing, because when I ordered it off of Amazon, they sent me two, which is fine. Um, and then these are just, like, straight barbells. And then, what is this? Okay, these are just, like, labrette posts and stuff. I really don't wear too much now because you guys know I don't have my lip pierce anymore. Um, and then these are just, like, random bits of jewelry that's kind of, like, fucked up. <laughs> and then these are just, like, a bunch of, like, cheap um, belly rings that I bought off of eBay. I think there's, like, 50 in there or something. And then these are just, like, some stuff I've had forever because when I was younger in high school, um, I would stretch my ears. Didn't do it the right way. Didn't know anything about it. But, yeah. And so it's like, I don't know what the fuck to do with those. Alright, and this third one. This just has regular earrings. Well, those are like ear cuffs as well back there. Um, and then right there, is more ear cuffs. Um, but yeah, I just have like a lot of earrings. And then more earrings. These I love these earrings. They're so cute. And then these ones as well. They were made um, by a fellow Native American. Uh, I think her Instagram is like beating it real or something. She makes really, really good, high quality um, beaded jewelry and then just some Playboy bunny earrings. Nothing interesting. And then this is just like a junk drawer. This is like piercing needles and shit like that. Alright, so before I finish the video, I forgot to show you guys um, my nipple shields, which is the thing I was like waiting the longest for to come in the mail before I could actually make this video. And they look like this. I showed you guys these a while back on Snap. Yeah, so got two of them, and they are super, super lightweight. They were really comfortable to wear. I wore them for about a month straight. Um, but, yeah, I liked them, but I don't think I want to wear nipple shields, like, for long term, because I just, over time, I just kind of, like, felt like they were, like, really uncomfortable on my nipple. Um, anyway, but, yeah, so I got these off of Amazon. I don't know if I said that. But that is it for my jewelry collection video for 2016. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys want to see any of the jewelry like individually, definitely let me know and I will be happy to make a video about that. Um, but yeah, I love you all. Thank you so much for watching my video and hopefully you'll check out my next one.